Okay, we're here at the Indiana State Sanitarium. And this was built in 1908, closed in 1968. And it was used after that for a nursing home. And, and uh, then they brought in mental patients and then it was closed down. But uh, there's all kinds of tunnels here. They go to these buildings, and that's what I'm going to go in right now. Uh, maybe where it's still got a little bit of light left. So. <sighs> I'm not sure how well you can see. But there was a uh, steam uh, that was actually was used uh, for steam. And you can see out. That's where we just come from there. Okay. You know, even with the light on, you can't see a whole lot. See this tunnel, pretty long tunnel. I know they have a lot of other tunnels here. So right here in this area, there was a there was a worker here that got murdered by another worker. In my understanding, this was in 2008 before the place was closed down. So one of the workers got a large raise, and the other worker was a friend of his, but he got I guess extremely jealous, and. Uh, he killed his friend. And so what happened was after he killed him right here in this spot, he then went out, went out here and went over to where they had the, uh, well, it's like a, it's a, where they had to put it's a power plant it's where they had where the steam was at and uh so his friend after he killed he killed his friend came over here in this building right here and that's where they have a large uh machinery over here it's where they had the coal where they 
produced energy. Um, so basically you can see now this very large wheel and everything where it, you know this would produce energy right here. And so we'll walk over here. So we come from there and his friend came over here and went down in this room where the uh, cold furnace is at. And they, of course, I think they said they, they burned like a truckload of, a dump truckload of coal a day to run this place. And you can see here now, these were, it's hard to see really, but what you can see, there must be birds up there. These were the uh, large coal furnaces where they would have uh, burnt the coal to produce the energy here, electric. And uh, you can see in here. So that, after he murdered his friend, he came over here and then he killed himself in this room right here to where they found him uh, my understanding i think he killed himself a gun uh so let's go back over here and uh this is june the 8th 2022 so we're gonna be here tonight and they actually have like a room or something where you can stay at if you want to sleep here uh, they do offer uh, they offer a, I think they offer you know tours during the day and then they have a where you can go it's kind of that kind of thing for a certain price and they have their website in which you can go on and price this stuff okay that goes now this I hear goes up in the first building right here. And we'll go up there in a second. I'm gonna go look back up in here. And huh. like this continues on up in here. Yeah. But let's go in the building here. Might come back to this at half time. Looks like it's got about, it's just got rooms everywhere. Different storage rooms and stuff. And you can see right here. Now, my understanding was this building right here was the original building that was built in 1908. And then the other part of the, another part, portion of the building was built in 1958, my understanding. And then the newest part was built in 1978. Different periods of time. Go out here. This looks like this is just yeah, you know, just just the exit. That's what this is. If you go out here, you can see up here. Okay. Oh. So this right here is the original building was built here. So 
So then they built onto it. They built this section here. My understanding was built in like 1958, and then it goes over to another five-story building over there, which was built in 1978. So, so when this place was first built, then this would have been the front of the building, and that's where you would come in and sign in at. So this was purchased from the county. Uh, it was left abandoned. Um, from the banks, banks who had it, uh, this left it abandoned. My understanding is that they did not want to, they didn't want to fool this building because it had asbestos in it and all that. So they just left it abandoned. I guess the county took over it and then, uh, the old safe and then uh what happened was uh the guy the guy that purchased now purchased it like uh, my understanding of 15 months ago so he just like slowly cleans cleaning some of it up offering tours and ghost hunts and stuff like that so now what you can see is, is this would have been the main entrance right here i wish it was a little bit lighter in here but it's not um and my understanding so whenever it was uh shut down it was actually shut down by the feds the federal government and at the last they had turned this place into like a a mental institution and uh, my understanding was they had uh, reports, you know, reports of, you know, not being not taken care of and all that kind of stuff. And then the county wanted to shut it down too. Federal government stepped in, closed it down. So, and when they shut it down, my understanding, they come in here and basically just told everybody to leave. And that's what they did. It's like some original designs there. Hmm. And they just, they just come and shut everything down. And when they did, they made everybody leave. And basically what happened was they just, uh, they slept everything, my understanding. And whenever they uh, left everything, I mean, they just took all the patients out, uh, moved them to different facilities, and the ones that could walk and talk and whatever my understanding was like a hundred of them, they just dropped them off at uh, in Indianapolis. And uh, they just dropped them off in Indianapolis on the street with a hundred dollars in their pocket and just left them. No, just to get rid of them. They probably didn't have maybe facilities and stuff to leave them and they didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to fool with them. So, this is crazy. So we're going up the stairway right now. Okay, this is the second story part of it. So, this was the first floor down here. We come from the basement and the tunnel down there. old video tapes like I said I mean they basically just come in here forced them out and they just left everything in here <laughs> there's old records <laughs> interesting old records hmm Looks like a bunch of old paperwork and stuff. 
floor falling through there. Huh. Looks like old Barbie dolls or something. <clears throat> It's always amazing once these places go empty that how fast they fall apart. Um, let's see that come in. There's no windows left. No duck work. Huh. It's like an old bathroom there. Man, I don't know about some of these floors are not in very good shape. Uh, closet. 